Well, it's the most common form of cancer in New Zealand and the deadliest, but we hardly ever talk about it. The Gut Cancer Foundation is working to raise awareness in their lead-up to their fundraiser, National Crunch Day, which is coming up this Thursday, May 31st. Ruth Davy joins us. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, when you say gut, I have to get this clear first. What are we talking about? It's the top to the bottom of the gastrointestinal tract. OK, so all yeah. your guts. All the guts. All your guts. Good, just wanted to clear that one up. Mm. Uh, you say it's common. I mean, how many people are diagnosed with gut cancers each year? 5,250 each year. That's 14 people a day, and over half will die in five years. So it's eight people a day. It's more common than breast and prostate cancer wow. combined. Wow, yes, we, we just don't hear about it. We, do. we can see by that graph on the screen there. Yes, and it's really tragic that we don't hear enough about it. Um, we do hear a little bit about bowel cancer, obviously, mm. and I'll talk a bit about Laura's yeah. story to that later. But upper GI cancers, we don't talk enough about Why those either. We? I think there's a lot of fear, um, especially upper GI cancers, because there's only a 20% survival rate on average in five years for upper GI tract. That's esophagus, stomach, liver, um, gallbladder, pancreas. If I said pancreas, yeah, probably. No, oh, wow. That, yeah. That that's, doesn't sound like great odds. <laughs> no, um, but if we get it early, and that's really important mm. to look for the symptoms, um, where bowel cancer and anal cancer, it's two-thirds will survive. And it's over 3,000 people getting diagnosed with that. So we're the only organisation doing the whole of the gut tract. So Gosh. we've got a big job to do. You've got a very big Huge job, to, job do. to do. So tell me a little bit about Laura Robson. Laura was a young woman who at the age of 26 was diagnosed after a considerable amount of testing um, with gut cancer, with bowel cancer. And it was difficult to pick up. And she had a blog which was called Terminally Optimistic. And she was determined to beat it, but unfortunately she died in, in early this year. Um, and I'd like to just acknowledge Jeremy and the Brennand family for allowing us to tell her story today. She was a Love Your, Your Gut um, ambassador last year, mm. and she raised funds for cancer, and she wanted to be an ambassador for us. Mm. But sadly, Laura passed away earlier this year, yeah. as you were saying. Um, but she did tell her story to help raise awareness, and her family is allowing us to share. Yes. Let's take a look at this. So about half an hour of waiting getting asked these mundane questions and then the oncologist comes in and she sits down and says I look at her file and then says oh it's sorry there's nothing we can do it's terminal and it's like well, what do you mean there's nothing that you can do and she goes oh well we can start chemotherapy but that will be about prolonging your life we can't cure what you have and and I said well I'm 26, how does that work? How, do, how can you be fine? And then all of a sudden you're being told that your life's getting taken away from you. Well, it's wonderful that Jeremy let us share that. Mm. Um, what, what can we learn from Laura's experience? Well, there's a campaign on with um, bowel cancer in New Zealand at the moment for under 50 year olds and 300 under 50 year olds a year are getting diagnosed with bowel cancer. Um, so, you know, you, you can't, none of us can be complacent. We need to all be thinking about the symptoms of bowel cancer, even under 50 years of age. But what are the symptoms? For, well, for, for bowel cancer, it's bleeding from the bowel, weight loss, anemia, tiredness, any, any pain, abdominal pain that's severe, wakes you up at night time. It can be intermittent, often it's continuous, but it can be random. Mm -hmm. So you've also got to be aware of your family history. So, you know, if you've got, I had an aunt, a great aunt who died of bowel cancer in her 40s and another aunt at 85. And I've had pre-cancer myself and that was in my 40s. And mm. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for modern medicine. So you just got to make sure that if you have anything that's a bit strange, mm -hmm. go and go see the and doctor. Get it checked. And just, you know, start getting things, mm. start the, the process. So tell me a little bit about National Crunch Day then. Well, love your guts, OK? We're wanting people to love your guts. Exercise and diet are really important. Yeah. We know that. More fibre you get and exercising. So to make the campaign more relevant, we've done gut crunches or sit-ups. And everyone goes, gut crunches, I'm not going to do gut crunches. And we say, well, they're not that hard. Yeah. on our website love your guts yeah. you can do five to 500 and some people do we ask them to do 50 in five minutes and register themselves on our website and ask people to sponsor them and people are so generous oh, my sister and I've just raised two thousand well, dollars that's great we're at the top of the leaderboard and come on everyone you got to get beaten somehow love your guts we I, I can't be the leader because I can't win the, win the trip to Samoa I'm staff <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, there's a trip. That yeah. you, exactly. That sounds fantastic. It's for four or five nights. 
Um, you're raising awareness um, funds as well. Just quickly, what's the money going to be used for? For clinical research, awareness and raising our profile. Um, our research is what we're primarily set out to do. And we're funding, we've got four, three research projects on the go and with, with fellowship and lots of clinical trials. We've got to keep our medical system up to date. Mm. We've got to keep these researchers in New Zealand. One of the researchers has been working on gut biome which is incredibly important and she's discovered four different gut biome types in bowel cancer. One of them do particularly badly for people for their, whether they have that gut biome. So we can plan treatment for these people around their gut biome, we'll mm -hmm. be able to do that. But also, in the future, you and I might be able to take a poo pill to actually give us the right gut biome. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, no, you want to move it. on from that? We're going to have to leave it on that one. <laughs> no, I'd like to talk about that a lot longer. Uh, really inspiring. Thank you so much, Ruth. Um, oh, pleasure. Thank now, you for Now, a very us. important message that we want to get out there. Go to Love Your Guts website to find out how you can help raise money for the Gut Cancer Foundation on Thursday's National Crunch Day.